Good evening. I'm Diana Neeby, and I teach 9th and 10th grade English at the prep. This is my second year at Sacred Heart and my fifth year in English education. I'm fortunate enough to teach with the Swiss Army Knife of learning tools, the iPad. Beyond the cool apps and gadgets, teaching in a one-to-one -one iPad classroom has totally transformed the way that I engage my students in their learning. Recently, one of the teachers in my professional learning network on Twitter posted this quote, the best app will always be an engaging lesson. Tonight, I want to look at two significant ways that teaching in a one-to-one -one program has enriched student learning and engagement in my class. First, technology has transformed how I differentiate instruction to meet individual learning needs. And second, technology has facilitated a more personalized approach to assessments and feedback. The first change is differentiation. Having students one-to-one -one on iPads has allowed me to flip my model of content delivery for writing instruction. In the analog model, students would come to class, I'd lecture about how to write an introduction or a thesis or a body paragraph, and then students would go home to write, inevitably hitting some writer's block or realizing some underlying confusion. Too bad I wasn't there to help, but in the digital world, the model is flipped. At home, students watch one of the video tutorials that I've created on everything from selecting evidence to finding themes. They can pause me, rewind me, and even make me give the whole lesson again. Instruction is student-paced. In class, we write together. Because I flipped my classroom, I get to have personalized conversations with kids about exactly what they need, exactly when they need it. My instruction is dynamic and real-time, not linear and prescribed. We have conversations about everything from skill development to race, gender, being the outcast, and how that relates to social power and discrimination. Conversations I didn't get to have with students while they were writing at home. Notice Eric in the back. He has his headphones in. That's because he's re-watching my video. So I get to work with Charlotte while simultaneously teaching Eric. I've cloned myself. It's like every teacher's dream. Flipping the way that I teach writing has enabled me to move from sage on the stage to guide by the side. The second change that I'm going to discuss tonight is personalized assessments with targeted feedback. We know that learning is deeply personal. It's one of the things that drew me to teach at Sacred Heart Prep in the first place. The opportunity to work, with more, deeply, work more deeply with fewer students. Here's one more way that I'm doing that in my classroom. I do all of my grading of writing assignments on Turnitin through Blackboard. I created custom comments based on the feedback that I most frequently give. For each of those comments, there's an error, the instruction, and how to fix it, and often a link with more information. So students receive personalized feedback. In addition to my pre-saved comments for common errors, they also get individual comments and a voice memo at the end of the paper. I use the voice memos to tie together the comments throughout the paper, highlight trends for students, and come up with a game plan for revisions and future success. And the best part is, they love it. One student, Sophia, said, I like how Mrs. Neeby grades online. It's like having a conversation with her. Aubrey notes that the online feedback personalizes the whole grading experience. Rather than just marking what's wrong like on a written paper, we get links and instruction for how to correct it. Another student told me that she was so proud of the audio comment I gave her that she played it for her mom three times. Teaching in a one-to-one -one environment has allowed me to transform my curriculum, ensuring quality student learning experiences throughout. But beyond making me a more effective teacher, teaching with technology is just plain fun.